Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to Bars and Melody Generation Z track by track. So guys, let's check this out. Hey guys, we're Bars and Melody and today we are going to be going for our brand new album Generation Z track by track and explaining what the songs are about and what they mean to us. We're allergic to the sun. Um, so the first track on Generation Z is a song called Allergic to the Sun. We came up with the, the phrase Allergic to the Sun first and we kind of like pictured like a scenario like like an apocalyptic right. world and there was these like people that were like That's allergic to like Generation the sun Z. so they could only go out at night time. And all my lyrics are like based around just this civilization that like broke off from like the peloton that was like I don't know, everybody else in the world, they were just like this little niche group that lived like under a rock almost, like not living by the rules like of the rest of society. And uh kind of like created like a little song. movie scene in my head and so all the lyrics are about just like being like I guess outcasts and like living under like the cover of the night. I want to buy this so album. So the second track on the album is called I Want You. Um, I Want You was a song that I wrote when I was in a relationship with a lot of problems and insecurities. And the whole world or the whole of our world was looking in on that relationship with a negative light. Um, there's a lot of negativities. But I Want You was kind of like an explanation of... <laughs> You know, no matter what people think about what's going on in your life, you should never let them judge what's going on in your life. You should always be the one to judge your problems oh, and your insecurities and deal with them yourself rather Spotify, than have so gonna have their input when they don't know anything about that. So it has kind of a deep meaning to me, um, but it's also like a really happy song and really positive song as well. Um, it's obviously complimenting someone that you want them and you love them a lot. So it's kind of got like a, a yin and yang effect to it. Oh, I love this. I think this is my favorite from the album. So guys, the next track on the album is called A Thousand Years and this is a song that we wrote when we took a trip to Florida. We went out there for a vacation slash recording process and yeah, it was an awesome song that we wrote on a really sunny day so I think it has that bright vibe around it. So the beauty of this song for me is how the music and the lyrics have such like a connection because it's very like emotional song like f the lyrics for me anyway and the music's quite like upbeat and happy and when the two come together I feel like it creates like a great connection like the lyrics are like kind of emotional and sad and then you bring the music the happy upbeat music in with it and it creates like a a weird kind of like mixture and that's the beauty of this song for me how the two <laughs> things contrast <laughs> the upset and the music and they come together and create like an awesome piece of music so and now you're gone. I just wish that I could no. they all sound so good i'm gonna listen to all the songs so the next song in the album, on the album is uh, after i reacted to this and during the writing process of this song we thought a lot about loss and the actual story we created mm. was about like leaving someone behind that you didn't necessarily want to but you felt like you had to and how much you regret it and how you feel so bad and guilty for abandoning Oh, I like the fact that they and, do their uh, own music Even though there's like no turning back like now, just know lyrics. that you'll always love them and you're always in their heart Apologize definitely has uh, a variation of meaning. So when we wrote it, we didn't want it to be uh, targeted around one subject like love or loss. It has that adaptation um, to, to be relevant to, to so many people. And that's kind of the whole idea of the song is for it to be relatable to everyone. So um, the next song on the album is called Faded and when I wrote this I kind of like created a story and I like to do that with a lot of songs like I feel like with this song it was trying to like convince You're someone so to go on like like an adventure or a journey Not with only you vocal, and but the lyric further and further away from side home you go you realise like how much you love just to, like spend the rest of your life with them just like travelling and going around the world but the more, the further and further you get away from home, the more like you feel 
the person that you're with starts to become home so it doesn't matter where in the world you are you can always look to them for like love and support but i feel like as you get even further Ooh, like all the fears and the insecurities oh. of the relationship start to creep in and you feel like you are the reason why like everything seems to be falling apart and then you, your memories and everything else before you went on this like adventure start to like fade away and the only thing you can think about is like the moment you're in and what's to come and it starts to scare you that you can't remember your past and this girl is your entire world and you start to feel like she's losing love for you and you can't remember your family, you can't remember your home and it seems like everything's falling apart and you're just waiting for the day that she's gonna say like I don't want to do this anymore and then you have nothing left. Just if you like. So the next song is called Live Your Life and the reason we wrote this song is because we realised that most of the album was actually quite depressing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's a really happy song and it's just, it's pretty self-explanatory, like live your life. It's, mm -hmm. it's telling you to go out there, do what you want to do, achieve your dreams, don't listen to what these people say, don't fall into that totalitarian mindset where you're focused on one thing and everyone's got to be the same and everyone's got to do the same thing people have got to follow that career path that I like everyone that. does like do your own thing you shouldn't always that. have to follow this path of doing the same thing as they're everyone so else young, you they're so young but they're so smart because we only get it once and it's short so <laughs> it's kind of just the whole concept of living life to the fullest and enjoying yourself whilst you're here and just forgetting about the stresses of life really okay Serious is like a very happy sounding song, yeah, but even though like the instrumental is quite happy, I feel like the lyrics like mean a lot to me and I hope like a lot of people can relate to it. Like it's all the stuff I used to think about growing up and I didn't think people would take seriously. So the chorus when it is when it comes in this like it's like you're like you're trying to be serious but no one can really understand like these things are a big deal to you and they they kind of belittle you because they think, oh, you're only young, you don't know what, like, you don't really shouldn't have problems. And even though, you know, they may think they're right, it's hard growing up and the little things become the biggest issues for you. And I feel like that's what serious, like, the whole song represents is growing up and people not taking you seriously. You can try to hide my voice, you'll find a way to scream. I'm so excited that they're so explaining all the songs. Them, like, so when I go so listen like, to, to all the songs, I would know what I'm like, getting myself into. You know, it would like, fall in love more. Kind of like standing up against everyone else that ever told you, you know, that you, you won't amount to anything. And I feel like when we first started Bars Melody, a lot of people were like, you know, this is never going to work and, you know, you're never going to do anything good. And it's really like humbling to see so yeah, many people like so listening good. to our music every single day and telling us how much they relate to the words we write and the music we make. And we're so grateful for that. So Scream is all about, you know, telling people and showing people that you can be something great one day and that no matter what, no matter what they say, it won't affect you. You'll always find a way <laughs> to make your voice be heard. This is not a love song. for this song so the next song is called not a love song and we wrote this out in berlin we had a few days off in berlin which we worked with some producers we started writing the the, the, the music for this song when leo was actually asleep yeah. and he said to me and what can the concept of this song be and i said leo hates love songs and he said okay let's call it not a love song when we wrote this song we tried to think <laughs> of like that person that's always in your head when you think of love like when you grow up when you think about getting a girlfriend and getting married it's about never wanting to wake up and doing anything to like hear a voice and imagining what kind of voice that she would have what personality she would have 
and I'm just so excited for you guys to hear the song because it's probably oh, like one of my favorites. Oh, I like the beats for this. Oh, I love the song. Oh, I've tried this one. So the I want to know what the, the video is this though. Fast car. Um, I don't really know much about this song just because the actual creation of the song I was asleep for. And I woke up and Leo and the producers have just created this masterpiece without my vocals on. Yeah, it was pretty late, so Charlie's like actual vocals didn't go on it until like maybe a month down the line. So like the oh. demo was just like me and the producer were working with voice on it and it was so awesome. Like the whole concept, like Fast Car is about someone who you you feel like you've lost and you just go like off walking around the world and one day once you found that peace in your heart and you feel like you can be forgiven for, for all the wrong that you've done in your life, you'll return one day and you'll stay with her forever until the time that you have on earth is up. The next song on the album is called Unconditional. Uh, Unconditional is definitely one of my top tracks on the album. The actually original instrumental was completely out of our comfort zone. Um, but once I laid my vocals on it, I think Leo saw the potential in it and it's actually become one of the, uh, tr personally, I think it's one of the best songs on the album. And it's called Unconditional, it's just about unconditional. You know what I noticed about this? Um, it's not just for, more on relationship you know, like a, a towards that. Maybe like because you're it's, still it's young and you're in that process. You're trying to understand And someone. I love it because you're um, so, so pure much. You're trying to like, understand them and how they feel. and. So they're really unpredictable and you're trying to show them how much you love them in order for them to hopefully realise and show you how much they love you. So it's all about perspectives of love and just, yeah, just unconditional love. I told you once, I told you twice, I'll never break any of my promises. I Won't Let You Go is the second to last song on the album and it was actually one of the first songs we'd recorded for the album. We sent it off to some new producers who reproduced it and like beefed it up a bit and we recorded our vocals and put our voices on it and our style on it and we changed it up a lot and it came back and it was, it honestly sounded amazing like the way Charlie sings, the way I rap is just completely different to the demo version. And uh, yeah, we put it on and we honestly love the song. It's about having someone that you never want to let go of. And even though you've been through the hardest of times together, that hasn't changed anything. I'm like, so excited to listen to the album together. already. And, like, um, oh my God. We'll never let I'll let you guys no know what what's my favorite. I'll leave it at the end of the screen. At the end of the reaction, so Discover is the favorite, final song so. on the album, and this is actually a song that I wrote um, at home on my piano uh, when I was writing songs. The whole concept of the song is really, really deep. Like you trying to discover yourself as you're trying to discover someone else, and you're not going to give up, and you'll keep fighting on. It's just a really deep song, and like I can't listen to it because it makes me too emotional. Like the first time I listened to it, I was actually on a car journey, and I actually cried on the car journey on my own like probably people thought I was a nutcase but it's same with like the song right for you on our last EP it's a song that I wrote in my spare time about my feelings at the time and then all of a sudden it becomes this huge record that has made it on our album and it kind of just put a whole different perspective on the song once again for me and it's probably one of my favorite songs on the album again and I really can't wait to perform it live because I feel like there's going to be a lot of natural passion. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching this track by track. I'm emotional. A very <laughs> emotional experience. And I'm happy Make sure you right guys now, download like, the album happy. if you've enjoyed this. We hope you guys understand a lot more about the album now. Uh, make sure you come and join us and come and watch us on our brand new Generation Z tour, which is happening at the start of 2018. We hope where? to see you there. Oh, I wish they'd announce the tour dates and where. I mean, if I can make it to the country that they're gonna go to, I'm gonna go, but I don't think they're coming to this side of the world. But, anyways, I'm going to listen to the album right after this and I'll let you know which one's my favorite. So, 
this is it this is my favorite anyways guys hopefully if you uh, anyways guys if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave in the comment section down below what other videos you like me to react to the original link of this video will be in the description box down below so that's my social media link so guys i'll see you in the next video bye